Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Arrow Wanderer and today it's uh it's been a it's it's been a while since I've made one of these uh movie reviews of uh, my favorite movies and uh yeah, it's just been a really busy week. I've been doing a lot of tests, but anyways, today I really want to get straight into it because I've got a few titles, some like, they're mostly lesser known movies, and this is my favorite lesser known movies for everyone out there who watches this video. I recommend that you go out there and watch it because these movies are freaking awesome, and I just absolutely recommend that you watch them. But not everyone out there is going to like these movies because everyone's got their own taste. So, starting off with Pay It Forward Kevin Spacey, Haley Joe Osment. Um, this one, uh, you know, a few people know it, but like the new generation don't. And what it's about is about this kid who lives in New Mexico with his single mother, and he's got this new teacher named Mr. Simonet, and uh, he uh, he gets this assignment from his teacher to pay it forward. And what pay it forward um, is is like if you do one nice, you got to do three nice things for three different. Uh, you, sorry, you got to do a nice thing for three different people. And then those three people have got to do um, three nice things for three other different, uh, sorry, a nice thing for three other different people. So yeah, pretty much it's a, like, um, it's yeah, that, that's what his assignment is. And yeah, and his mom meets the teacher and his mom falls in love with the teacher. Anyways, good movie. Next one, Hearts in Atlantis. I love this movie. You know, I think Anthony Hopkins does a phenomenal job. Um, and what this film's about is um, Anton Yelchin's character, rest in peace, great actor. Um, he lives uh, with his single mother again in this house and he rents the room upstairs in the, uh, I think it's the attic. In, or just maybe the room upstairs, I forget because it's been a while since I've seen this. Anyways, his mother rents the room to this old man and this old man, um, he can't see very well so he gives the kid like a dollar a week to read him the newspaper and they like become really good friends and this old man has this like uh, psychic ability like he's got these powers where he can you know uh, hear people's thoughts and read people's thoughts and it's just a really crazy movie set in like the 50s but awesome film anyways next one on the list is a thriller slash horror but it fits more on the science fiction category and that film is Disturbing Behaviour. Now, this is a lesser known 90s film. I mean, I'm pretty sure quite a few people out there know this film, but if you haven't seen it, I'll definitely recommend it. And I'm going to keep it short and sweet because it's kind of hard to describe this film. But it stars James Marsden, Katie Holmes and Nick Stoll. And what it's about is this kid who moves to this new town, doesn't really know anyone, and he becomes friend with this kid, um... He becomes, sorry, he becomes friends with this kid named, uh... Gavin Strick and this kid Gavin Strick grew up at this school and he doesn't like this group of kids called the Blue Ribbons who are the higher achievers and he thinks that this you know this evil force is taking over the school so um, the, the main kid the main character Steve played by um, James Marsden he goes one night in the ventilation system with his friend Gavin and they spy on this parent teacher meeting and uh, yeah then the the teachers um, you know all agree to sign this kid Gavin to the program which um, allows him to be part of the blue ribbons and he doesn't want to do it and all this crazy stuff happens but anyways I'm gonna leave it at that yo so next one on the list is an early Johnny Depp film and that is Benny and June now this is one of my favorites absolutely favorite film of all time it's just so weird and unique and yeah yeah I love this film um it's a hard film to explain but it's about Johnny Depp's character he's this weird like kid who stays with this um, brother and sister who lost their mother and father at an early age but they're like they're in their like um, early 30s and um, yeah pretty much it's about yeah Johnny Depp's character he's weird um, the sister's weird and the brother takes care of the sister because the sister's got like mental problems and um, yeah it's pretty much uh, Johnny Depp and the uh, sister they fall in love and um, 
really weird film, um, but really great Johnny Depp performance. Anyways, next one on the list is At Close Range. One of my favorite, okay, it is my favorite uh, Sean Penn film, I should say. And just a phenomenal film. This is a very rare and expensive Blu-ray. This one cost me like 90 bucks, 80 bucks, I think. And what it's about is a true story about Sean Penn's character. He plays, um, he plays, uh, I forget his, um, his character's name, but anyways, he plays, um, Christopher Walken's son in the movie and he doesn't really know his father and his father's a criminal and then his father comes back into his son's life and uh, from there they become really good um, they have this really good uh, father and son bond and um, yeah sort of you know opens the door to his father's criminal life when he when he gets back in contact with his father and Sean Penn from there starts doing the wrong thing and you know starts becoming a criminal like his father but awesome film next one on the list is a, a weird French film and I recommend that everyone who has had like weird nightmares or dreams to watch this film and that film is The City of Lost Children I love this film it's dubbed in English but it's also um, the original um, dialogue is in French and if you haven't seen this film it's a hard film to explain but it's about these kids who who get kidnapped and um, this police officer, I think he's a police officer, and these two kids, they go to rescue the kids from this um, this place where um, this crazy scientist is is holding all these kids. Like, um, yeah, it's really weird to it's really weird. It's really hard to explain. Yeah, it's pretty much yeah. This guy, he, he this scientist, he wants these kids' dreams. It's really hard to explain. But you got to go out there and watch it if you haven't seen it. Anyways, next one on the list is a mad film about these two sluts and that film is 13 now at 13 now at 13 you know I was not doing a thing like these girls were doing but saying that these girls that were in the movie were like 24 25 they don't look like they were 13 but anyways yeah it's about uh, this girl who's like a really goody two shoes and uh, she's like you know, she she pretty much is a, a quiet girl and then she becomes friends with this uh, this other chick um, played by Nikki Reed and um, Nikki Reed is like the slut of the school and um, pretty much, yeah, she becomes friends with her and um, the old saying goes, you know, you are who your friends are. So she becomes who her friend, um, who her friend is and she turns into this slut and it's just about the, the, the life that... Um, the life that she has when she um, yeah becomes friends with this other uh, classmate of hers. Anyways, next one on the list is a very um, it's a it's a very um, just a very unknown Paris Hilton film, but I freaking love it. And um, I've had this DVD for years, which is The Hills. Yeah, this film, The Hills, is um. It's a really B-grade movie, but it's like a really good B-grade movie, and I haven't seen a good B-grade movie like this, like, I don't think ever. But pretty much what it's about is about the, the youth of uh, these rich kids from Beverly Hills and the stuff that they get up to, like taking drugs, you know, banging chicks, you know, um, and then this got, and then it like follows the main character who's this guy named Steve Five, and it's about him who, um, it's about him, yeah, pretty much wanting to to uh, date Paris Hilton's character and uh, he doesn't really get to because she's in love with this frat guy and yeah it's just a freaking awesome film but yeah next one on the list is a really weird um, Josh Hartnett film based on the play Othello and that film is oh yeah this is just pretty much a college movie based on the play Othello a modern day Othello, you know, story about a guy who's in love with this chick and he can't really, you know, um, she has a boyfriend and she doesn't really, you know, want to leave her boyfriend for him. So he like pretty much sabotages their relationship and I'll leave it at that. But the next two on the list are two horror films, but I'm going to talk about the first one, which is Grandma's House. And what this film Grandma's House is about is about this uh, 
brother and sister whose I think mother and father die. It's been a while since I've seen this. But anyways, the mother and father die. So these kids go stay with their grandparents who are, who are like, you know, who like these kids think that their grandparents are serial killers because like, yeah, all this stuff happens. But yeah, it's pretty much about them staying at their grandmother's house. And uh, yeah, it's about them discovering the dark secrets that their grandparents hold. So yeah. Last one on the list, I purchased this recently, and I'm not going to get into detail about this, but it's uh, one that I paid about $50 um, Australian, and that film is Ice Cream Man. Ice Cream, you scream, we all scream for the Ice Cream Man. Yeah. I love this movie. This is like... This is like something like... Uh, Similar to like the uh, Goosebumps TV show, but um, what it's about is this ice cream, this guy that drives this ice cream truck, and um, it's about him, he's, uh, he's a killer, he likes to kill these uh, people and put them in the ice cream, pretty much he likes to get the kids, kill them and put them in the ice cream, and he does that to the adults as well, but yeah, he wants to get the kids and, and do that to them, and it's a pretty, it's pretty gory, you know, um, pretty... It's not, it's pretty B grade, but it's an awesome movie. Like, I, I, I love it, you know. It's very rare, it's out of print now. But, you know, on that note, I'm going to end this video there. If you like my videos, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you want. If not, you know, it don't matter. It don't matter because I'm doing this, not for the views, I'm doing this because I'm bored. But, I'll leave everyone with that. I'm going to go now. It's pouring rain outside and I'm going to watch me some goosebumps and have a popcorn. So, I'll see everyone in my next video. See you later, mate. I'm fucking out of here. Okay!